Ready? Mm -hmm. You gonna start it off? No. Huh? I'm the one asking all the questions. Uh uh, I am too. I'm the one that's gonna be asking questions. Okay. I don't know how to read. What is that? <laughs> I don't know how to read your writing, baby. Hey, y'all tubers. Y'all tubers. That's a you. Y'all tubers. All right, let's let's do this. Hey guys, what's up? Um, I know this ain't a vlog, but it's a cool video though. It's like a 30 minute around there. I don't really know. Exactly. We don't know how long it's going to be yet. <laughs> We've got like 35 some or something like that questions. Yes. Some of them are put in like one, so we don't know how long it's going to be yet. This pretty much is a documentary about us and y'all are pretty much asking us tons of questions. Also, we're going to be giving some uh, answers of what our plans are for YouTube, what's our plans for I guess for our family and, and stuff like that. So pretty much getting to know us. That's pretty much what it is. You know, getting to know us a little better than what you already know. Yes. Um, we're going to start off with, um, we didn't put like who asked what because a lot of people were asking the same basic questions. So we just basically did all, like put them all down, shred all the questions down. We didn't answer all the questions because there were some that, you know, just didn't retain to what we needed to talk about. Um, there were some weird questions that we didn't put on here, but the basic, you know, information that you needed to know and that you asked, we we put on here and we're going to answer them. So we're going to start off um, with everyone's age. I'm 30, by the way. He is not 30. <laughs> you just tell the truth. I'm 30. I'm getting old, guys. I'm getting old. No, he's not. He's not 30. He... Is how old, baby? Thirty. No, you're not. I'm 27. I'm 27. Just turned 27, on April 18th, guys. Yes, it was my birthday. I didn't vlog that day. But I'm sorry. Well, you did like a. No, you didn't. That's no. right. We did the no. cake when your dad was here. That's right. Yup. Okay, so he's 27. I'm 23. Riley is six, and Kyle is. We're supposed to be taking turns. Here. Kyle's four. So Kyle's four. Okay. Um, you answer. Ask the next question. Everyone's favorite food. I abbreviated. And he's making fun of me. Everyone's favorite food. Okay. Hmm. What's yours, babe? My favorite food. My favorite food. Mm -hmm. You really want to know? I better say this right, or I'm gonna be in trouble. <laughs> Excuse me. How would you be in trouble? Cause I gotta make sure it's something you cook. <laughs> no, it doesn't have to be something I cook. It could be anything. Something you get from um, a restaurant or anywhere. My favorite food, really, recently, was hamburger steak. That's my favorite food. Oh, he's trying to suck steak. up. No. I'm being serious. <laughs> yeah, he loves hamburger steak, though. Um, yes. I cooked it the other night, but I, I cooked it. Rec I, I used to didn't cook it, but I recently, I tried it. And I, well, it actually turned out good at the house. Well, really, like, the reason I liked it is because where you were working. Yeah, when I worked at JR Steakhouse, that was, like, our biggest seller, yeah. hamburger steak with brown gra gravy and onions. And um, he'd usually get mashed potatoes with it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I never tried cooking at the house back then, but recently he had been talking about how he wanted it. And we had tried it at other places, and it was nowhere near as good. So I tried cooking it here, and it turned out awesome. So yeah, it was good. I that's it. his favorite. That's not my favorite. That's though. my favorite. That's his favorite. The kids... It's hard to say, um, cause they like mostly everything. Pizza. Well, Kyle um, likes mostly everything. No, <laughs> Kyle likes ranch with everything. Yeah. Um, I would say they're like Riley's favorite. I would say would be probably Salisbury steak. I think or pizza, one or the other. I'm not gonna say. <laughs> I mean, he likes both. Kyle. I think his favorite food is cereal <laughs> because every time he wants something to eat, that's the first thing he says is he cereal. Wants cereal. I mean, he likes a lot of other cereal. food, and he he'll eat other food, but it, like when he first gets up, he'll say cereal. So most time he eats cereal for breakfast. Every or now and late then, at night. yeah, and cereal. during the day, randomly cereal. during the day, what you want to eat? Cereal? Maybe that's for breakfast. I want cereal, so I wind up having to cook something else, but. I would say probably cereal, and it's, that would be his favorite breakfast food, I guess. And as far as like other food, I mean, he likes everything. He loves fruit. He loves everything. 
Maybe Pretty much loves a lot of eating. Yeah. Riley is the one that don't eat fruit. much. Yeah, Kyle does. Uh, Riley doesn't eat fruit. No. At all. No fruit. Why. Except for watermelon. Yeah, he'll eat, he'll eat watermelon. Riley will eat watermelon. Kyle, he'll eat any fruit. Yeah. Any of it. Um, My favorite, I think. Cheeseburgers. <laughs> yeah. Probably. <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I mean that is my favorite is she and it's not just cheeseburgers like when we cook at the house I like cheeseburger and sausage like a sausage all and a cheeseburger that's my I think that's my ultimate favorite if it's gonna be at the house I mean I love all kinds of other food and we don't eat it much but if that would be my favorite tasting food I believe yeah that's true so our next question I get to ask it's my turn do we plan to have any more kids? And if so, how many? That's a hard question. Because we both want a little girl really bad. But we're just iffy about it. We're iffy about the financial situation. We want to make sure we're, you know, owning a house, have enough room, and have enough to spoil her with a room. And I wouldn't say spoil, but, you know, have everything that we want, you know, and a as lot far of people, as their decoration, de decorated room. And a lot of people sit and ask us, and I've seen this question all the time, I've seen it a couple times on the comments, but I've seen it more in messages. How do y'all get the vlog, and how do y'all don't work, and, and stuff like that, and, you know, it's kind of hard to explain, like, did, did anybody ask that? Yeah, I, someone asked about, you know, yeah, we'll how, get to that, what but we work and stuff, where we work. We'll get to that, but the thing is, the financial of having another baby is just, I wanted to make sure it was right. And yeah, it's the right time. That's like, we're not ashamed for what happened, you know. We'll get on the situation of Riley and then Kyle. We always had to have family help us to get where we needed to be. Back in the day. Back in the day. When now we, kids, we take care of I mean, everything. Babies, yeah. And I didn't like that. And I think a lot of people with being a man out there don't really like someone stepping in their place and they're the ones supposed to be buying the baby bed. The the diapers, this and that and, and you know, it was hard. Yeah. When it we was. When we had when we had Kyle, which was four years ago when he was a baby. We, you know, financially, we weren't, we was not stable. We were, you know, buying our cars, so we had car payments. We didn't own anything in the house. We rented so we everything. Had, yeah, we were renting everything. Don't um, do that, by the way. That's yeah. a total mess up <laughs> your life. That messed us up so bad. But, so, with Kyle, we, my, I think my mom and my dad bought the baby bed and stuff. Um, Changing table. Yeah, they that. bought the bedroom suit. That, yeah, they had the suit. Which, I mean, was nice, of course, you know, but we want it to where if we have a little girl or an, another little boy, don't necessarily have to be a little girl, but if we do have another one, we want to buy everything. Of course, we'll have a baby shower. But, I mean, as far as when the boys were little, we, we bought, you know, the basic stuff. You know, if they needed formula, if they needed diapers, wipes, and all that, we bought all that, yeah, and yeah. clothes. But as far as the big stuff, decorating their rooms and stuff, we really didn't get to do. We had a bed set and stuff, but we didn't buy it. So we want to make sure we can do all that. Um, <clears throat> like my baby swing and everything, either his mom bought, my parents bought, one or the other. We didn't really buy much. So that's on that. I mean, we want to, but then again, you know, it's empty. It's we want to make sure it's the right time. Everything's got to be right with our money, yeah. our success, and what we're wanting to do and stuff like that. Yeah. And our money saved up because we had the boys at such such a young age we nobody really asked that question about it on me on here so I guess we yeah. go ahead and clear it up um, when <clears throat> when me and Chris first met which was and nobody asked this question either I prank called him <laughs> and that's how we met um, I was just messing around I was bored one night and my cousin had his number and I called him and I was messing around with him, acting like I knew him and stuff. And anyway, we, we became friends after that, and we uh, we met. And at the time when we were talking as friends, and nothing yeah. was going on. Yeah, we, we were, were just, just friends. being friends. I had a boyfriend, and he had a girlfriend. I had a girlfriend, which is Riley's mother. Yes. And so um, to the people out there that ask this question a lot, 
when he says Mama Brittany a lot on there, a lot yeah. of people ask, well, who is that? Well, that's his real mother. Yeah. Now, custody-wise, I have full custody of him. That's how it goes. Things just didn't work out. Y'all all know the story out there. There's tons of girls out there who would manipulate you and, and trick you into things. And that was one of the paths that I had to go on and learn my lesson from. And I didn't think it was mine until one of her friends told me she did something wrong. And that was already over. I was already broke up with her. So I went on. He found out she then was I pregnant. Found out. He found out that she was pregnant about a month after me and him actually started dating. And he made the decision to stay with me because he didn't want it to where they'd be, he'd be unhappy and her be unhappy and then the kid would be unhappy. So he wanted up staying with me. Um, we found out she was pregnant, like I said, a month after we actually started dating. And then Riley was born about seven months later because we got together December in 2005. Mm -hmm. Riley was born July 2006. So um, for a while we just had visitation and then... After he was about a year and a half, two years old, I believe, something like that. Yeah. Something like that. He, he was about two, I think. We uh, wound up getting custody. So, we have custody now, and yes, he calls me mama. He always has. He knows that that's his real mama. So, she gets him every other weekend, sometimes. So, it's just a, di it's a difficult situation that, you know, we don't want to put all of our personal life out there. Yeah, but. it's it's personal, but it... But biologically, you know, he's yeah. not mine. But in my eyes, I mean, I love him just as much as I love Kyle. He loves me just as much as he loves her and Daddy. So, I mean, he's happy here. And, you know, we make sure he needs every, he gets everything he needs. Uh, we do have custody. So, it's like, I mean, she gets him sometimes once a month, sometimes every other weekend. It just depends. So, she does have visitation. Um... And sometimes if she decides she wants to see him more, we do let her. We don't hold anything against her or anything like that. We all get along now. I can't say that about when we were younger. but um, So that's how Riley came to the picture. And then Kyle was born in October 2008, two years later after Riley was born. Um, we were already married at that point. Like yeah. I said, we got together in 2005. We got married in 2008. So I was a few months pregnant. Our original wedding was set for June. Of course, I wanted a June wedding. <laughs> and um, what happened was I wound up pregnant, and which we had been trying. It wasn't like a suddenly thing. I mean, we had been, trying, been for, trying for about six months to get pregnant, and I hadn't got pregnant. Well, I wound up getting pregnant, and then I started to blow up quick. So we got married in the beginning of May because my wedding dress was already really tight on me. And it actually, the top wound up breaking at the wedding. So... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But we tried to hold off as long as we could, but we had to move it up a, you know, a month. So we got married in May, and he was born in October. So, um, so that's the, the thing about do we plan, don't plan on having any more kids. We want to, in a way, we really do. We want another one. I mean, I don't want a whole bunch, but you know, maybe one or two more, maybe in the future. We'll see. All right, your next question. What is that? Where have we traveled Travel? okay. slash vacation? Scribble, scribble. Um, where have, no, where have we already? Well, everybody knows we went to Florida. Mm -hmm. um, the vlogs are up. I don't really say our first vacation. It's our first big family well, vacation. Well, let me, let me put this in. <laughs> our first vacation on YouTube was going to Missouri. But really, that to me, I mean, yeah, it was fun. But it wasn't as fun as the real vacation we had when we go went to Florida and stuff yeah. like that. Because that, that was, was actually, a blast. Well, yeah, that was actually our I had so much vacation. footage down there. Yeah. It was so much footage. Yeah. We went to Missouri, um, I think. I'm trying to remember. I don't know what year it was, but we went down there um, my just to, basically to visit. Um, it wasn't really as considered a vacation. It was just to go and visit his grandma. Yeah. So, I mean, we had fun going down there but it wasn't like actually in a, vac a vacation but that's where we had traveled to Missouri he's been to New York to see his dad I haven't been yet um I've been to North Carolina when I was a kid but as far as like family together we've only been to Missouri and Florida yeah. we're gonna go to New York this year going for Thanksgiving so be looking out because I'm gonna be definitely be vlogging and more likely vlogging Wednesday on that day and all that depends on yeah. how we go up there and stuff 
See, someone's already shouting out Stacy. She said her her username on YouTube was Miss Stacy Lynn or something like that. I think she's the she's the questions I'm answering now. Okay. I think hers was. That's what we're answering now. Your questions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So the next one is, where do we plan on traveling? Okay, we just said we're going to yeah, go to New York. Definitely go to New York. Um, we'd like to go to a lot more places. Um, we want to go to Cali. California. We do. We want to go up there and visit with all the big YouTubers, which we'll get on to because everybody asks, you know, who do we yeah. watch, who do we want to meet, etc. But we want to go to California. We're going to, we're going to go to New York. Um, we're going to go back to Florida. Probably not this year. Not sure, but probably not sure. next we'll, year. We'll find out. Because we're going to do the New York thing, and then we're probably going to, you know, just take the kids to, you know, zoos and stuff this year until water park instead of going to Florida for a week. Well, we might be going to Atlanta's water park. I don't know yet. That's what I'm saying. We don't yeah. know yet. We or we might exactly. go to Florida for a few days. We're not sure exactly what's going to happen. But as far as anywhere else, I don't know. I know we want to visit Cali, but I don't know about where anywhere else. We didn't really, except California, New York, because my family's out there, my yeah. dad, and Florida. I don't, I don't really yeah. know exactly where else I would like. I'd to like to now. I would like to go to Tennessee for the mountains one year. Well, yeah, because yeah, I don't know, like the Christmas holidays yeah. stuff out there with the snow and and, and, the, and the, the mountains, mountains and, and, and I don't the know. Cabins, it just, it's like one of those stories you watch on TV of and the you want Christmas to do it. story or something. <laughs> you want to do that. Yeah. You want to wake up and have snow the next day and yeah, because it doesn't snow in Georgia. No, they don't so. do nothing. It rains. But. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Favorite places to shop. Huh. What's your favorite? Favorite place to shop? Online. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being serious. Online because you get so much better deals online. Um, I mean, if I have to pick a shop somewhere around here, one, I'm not saying the Apple Store because that is not a great place to shop. Not at all. That's <laughs> well, a lot of put a too hole. Much. <laughs> yes, that'll put a hole in the pocket right there. Um. Best Buy? Let me guess. Everybody that follows me on Facebook, probably I have Best Buy on my phone. We don't know how many freaking times because we go there a lot. We go to Best Buy and Walmart a lot. Yeah. Um, as far as shopping for like stuff in the house, I'm going to say Walmart. Um, now, as far as clothes and stuff, my favorite places would be probably be, which I haven't shopped there in a while, but um, I like Aeropostale, Hollister. Um, I haven't shopped there in a while because I still have the clothes um, and I've been trying to lose weight as you know so as soon as I lose the weight I want then of course I'll go there well that's the um, project we're working on yeah we're working on all that so, so I have the past two years or so I haven't wanted to go and spend eighty dollars on a pair of jeans because if you know what I'm saying if I'm gonna wind up losing weight so but that but that, those used to be my favorite places as far as the kids is clothes I like getting theirs like their jeans mainly from Old Navy um, and I like Old Navy too, so we like a few different places. And I like Route 21. I think that would be my other favorite place. Favorite TV shows. And I think this is from, I think, Stacy, but then there was one like old and new. So um, the kids, Kyle's would be SpongeBob. Yes. Riley's, he likes a variety of shows. Um, he likes Power Rangers, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, um, all the new stuff now. Yeah, Kyle, Straight Spongebob. He yeah. used to be Dora and straight Diego, SpongeBob. now it's Straight Spongebob. SpongeBob. That's what he wants to watch all the time. My favorite TV shows, let's see, Lizard League. That was, that's one of the good reality shows I like, Lizard League. Um, you like um, Hardcore Pond, yeah. that one's a good one. And um, I like both those too. Look, don't no one judge me, but the client list is really good. Yeah, I like the client list. We both like that. It's a little drama, it you know, a little drama, you know. <laughs> but yeah, it's um, it's still a good show. Mine would be old. My favorite old TV show would probably be Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel. And my newest favorite of like all of my shows would. Probably be the Vampire Diaries. I'm thinking. I mean, I love like I watch a bunch of them, but um, would be probably Vampire Diaries. Um, Favorite movies. Mm -hmm. um, 
My favorite movie is Twilight. Yee yee. Raise your hands in the air. I knew you were going to say Twilight. <laughs> That's going to be my favorite. Um, I already know your favorite, okay? I'm going to tell you right now. What's my favorite? Fast and Furious, period. That's, yeah. I think, would be his all-time favorite movies. He all the all movies, time. all the movies together is just, they're nice. By the way, I can't wait for the new one to come out because I'm going to go see that without you. Oh, you ain't going without me, but. Um, the kids' favorite movies? Huh. I, I wouldn't say back in the day they watched Shrek a lot, but they don't even yeah, watch Shrek. Yeah, they don't even no watch it anymore. Raleigh, um, he likes. It's hard to say with kids what their favorite is because one minute they like this, one minute they like that. Um, really, but, they don't even watch no more movies. Well, me and Riley watch. Um, I mean, finally, that's what I'm saying. It takes a while, but yeah, it takes a while for them to want to watch, sit there and watch a whole movie. But I think Lorex was a good movie for Riley. Kyle, oh yeah, not really I watched it. that. It was now he, me and Riley, Riley, me and Kyle watched um, Stuart Little last night, so he liked it. But he thought the little rat was funny. So favorite books, um, uh, for the kids, I would say Cat in the Cat Hat. In the Hat. Yeah. Doctor Seuss. Definitely. They love all Dr. Seuss books, but yes. Cat in the Hat would be their favorite. And I guess that's mine, too, because I don't read any books. I don't honest. read no books. <laughs> I mean, I read the kids' books, but I do not read any big books. No, so. I don't either. That's one thing. I've never been into books. I even tried, even with Twilight, I tried reading, but I just, I, I couldn't. <laughs> so. Favorite games slash apps. Oh, uh, slash apps. I thought it was I. So, favorite games. Favorite games. I don't play games. Everybody's gonna should know this. It's Call of Duty, Black Ops, Call of Duty, any Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Well, really, I like the Black Ops games and Black Ops Two more than just a regular Call of Duty, Modern Warfare. But yeah. that's what I like playing. So and I can go ahead and let you know the kids love playing Black Ops, the zombies, and all that with me. That's their favorite. All they want to do is play that. Out of all their games. Yes. And they've got Batman, uh, Transformers, Angry Birds. Uh, they play more zombies and Mortal Kombat, all that. They yeah. play Black Ops Two more than anything. And apps wise, I would say theirs would be Angry Birds. Apps wise, for me, I don't really play. Let's see. Well, it didn't say like a game. It said slash app. So your favorite app, I guess. I guess my favorite app is gonna be Facebook. <laughs> I'm assuming. I mean, I don't really use well, I mean, if my iPhone talking, to the to the limit. I don't really. Well, own. really, my favorite app on my iPhone is Instagram. I like Instagram. I just follow. It's almost like Twitter, but it's with pictures. I still ain't with the Twitter thing, guys. You just gotta bear with me with that. I still don't. You're not I don't into know. it. Neither am I. I mean, I have it hooked up for the Lennon family, and it does send stuff. Our new videos, our new pictures. It's just to tweet. It's like I don't know. I don't know. I'm not getting it. Favorite music. Um, I like I like all music. Uh, my favorite though would probably be country. My favorite all time would probably be the classic rock. I mean, I listen to the new raps. I listen to the new country, the new rock and roll, the, the all that right now. But I still think I was raised so much back in the day listening to old classic Tom Petty and stuff like that, and I still play it a lot. Sometimes I'll be singing it and just gonna be like. <laughs> How do you know that song? Yeah, because it's old. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so. Favorite YouTubers? Me! What? I'm not a favorite YouTuber on you? You're my favorite YouTuber. Baby! We're talking about other than us. That's what they're asking. I don't, I don't know any YouTubers. Yes, he does. Okay. His favorite? I don't know about his favorite. My favorite now I like I like the shade tards, I do. Um we watch them a lot. Um so the favorite family YouTuber would be the Shay Tards, I believe. Uh couple wise, we're gonna go with PvP. Sign. Straight up. <laughs> um we love them. Uh now I like Shane Dawson. Yeah, Shane Dawson's good. Um Oh Simi Ma or Oh Simi uh, yeah, I don't I can't I that can't name, his that name, name. But but he's all he's funny too. Jenna Marbles, Jenna I Marbles like her. Is good. Um, I watch her a lot. Um, we watch I Justine. Yeah. So I mean, we watch all the big YouTubers too. Um, 
The one that you really. Dave Days. Dave Days. We've been yeah. watching him since he was younger too. When he used to Cast talk about G. Miley Cyrus all the time. Yeah, Cast of <laughs> yeah. G is hilarious too. Yeah. So um, we watch all them too. Um, uh, now talking about the YouTubers real quick. Like everybody's asked another question. Like in other videos, it really I was surprised. Nobody even asked this one where. Like what YouTubers like? Why did you start this YouTube and stuff like that? Really, it was Shay that made a video back in the day, and it was just about him. It was just one Shay video that he. It was on his Shay Shay Carl page, and he stated that he just wants to look back in his life and realize everything he's done and how much he's you know he completes in life. And I don't think if he took yourself back to where he was back in the day, I don't think he would know exactly. How successful he is right now. Yeah, or how I don't think he really he would, would thought he'd be that pushed and far out there and like that. I think he would, like his whole plan was really just to have that little back on. It was memories, and that's something I want. You know, if anything ever happened in this family or, or anything, my mom, uh, me, my wife, my kids, or anything, we're not just looking back on thoughts in our head. We're not looking back in little pictures it ain't gonna you know make a sound that he makes or talk like he talks or it's the videos and that's one thing that you know I wanted to start this it wasn't about oh I want to make tons of money like the Shaytars I want to make tons of this like this people do and if it comes it comes natural but yes it would help some but I like that we can go back two more years and see the first Christmas that we really didn't have much. Yeah. And then the second Christmas has got better. It's got better this Christmas, and it. I'm How seeing everything progress, and How also. They, I went back and watched the first video on Kyle's and diapers. Yeah. And it was just he can amazing. barely talk. He just said a few little words, "Mama, Dada, car, stuff like that." It was crazy. It was. I mean. And how much Riley has grown, and how much we've changed, so, and how much That's our like lifestyle Marley. has changed. Our dog Marley. I remember just puppy. seeing him, it was a puppy, and now he's big. Yeah. It's, it's just... It, it's, it's good to be able to go back and look throughout all the years that, you know, we've done. And I know it's coming. I'm not stupid, but, you know, Bear has always been with us since day one, almost with the vlogs. You know, that, that's going to be... That's gonna be heartbreaking. I mean, it's just. Hair's old. Yeah, he's getting there. He's hanging in there. He's still toughing it out. But I mean, things happen to us, and we can't really change any of that. It's just. I'll understand more, you know. I understand why Shay didn't really talk about, you know, what really happened because, like, I wouldn't be able to talk about it. The only reason I didn't talk about it because I can look down here and say. A dog's still alive. He's still right there. But yeah. it's different when it all Something changes. Something happens, yeah. All right, we're going to move on, though. All right, where do we see ourselves in five to ten years? <laughs> That's kind of an iffy question. Yeah. Five or ten years. I mean, it's really, there is one thing, since we're already on this situation, I'd like to be a little bit more successful. I mean... Um, did they even say anything about jobs or anything? Yeah, it asked us um, where we work down here. Okay, well, well, we're going to mark that out in a minute. I'll talk about it now. It's just successful for five or ten years. Right now, I'm an Apple developer. That's all I do is develop apps and stuff like that. It's a side job. It's not a quite, you get paid this much, this much, and this much. It just depends on how much you really work that much you get paid. And pretty much all the check is for is really when I get it, it's gone. Yeah, it pays for all the bills. bills. That's all it does. It just helps us get the next month and then pays all the bills. Maybe have a little bit of money. And I, I work on the side doing website designs. That's what really helps us get to go out to eat, um, buy trash bags and stuff like that. I mean, other than that, it's nothing special. Yeah. Like everybody really thinks like, Oh, you got two TVs. You got this TV. You got a gaming room. Yeah, I had to we work bought, for all yeah, that. Yeah, we we bought we we don't buy not one. Rich. We we buy in increments. You know, Christmas time we got an you know new TV. Um, Raleigh's birthday got we're a just smart you know, with our yeah. money now. Yeah, That's we all just it is. we save up for what we want and then we get it. Their bunk beds we save for it and then we got it. His chair we save for it and got it. 
So um, in five or ten years, we would definitely like to be either successful in YouTube or successful in our own business of some kind. Yeah. We're thinking about doing like a car lot and something. A uh, wrestling business type deal. Like an independent wrestling yeah. company. So we want to do both of those and we want to, you know, go ahead and open those up. We've been saving. Uh, and if... YouTube kicks off and we get, you know, bigger and make money off that, great. I mean, that's what we would love to do, yes. Um, but in either way, either point, we want to be, you know, more successful in five to ten years. We want to be able to have, you know, buying our own house, um, you know, have either a successful business or either, you know, being successful YouTubers. So, yeah. Um, how long have we been married? We've been married since 2008, May 4th, 2008. So we don't really celebrate that as much as we do like when we got together. Uh, we got together December 18th, 2005. That's usually when we do our anniversary. We do have, we do, do you know, a marriage anniversary last year we did. Yeah. I mean, we do it. It's just we make more big of a deal. I don't know. When we got it seems like it's a more big of a deal because, like, I guess when we got together, rough patch that we've had to. Ever since being together, we've had to break all these boundaries to push out and, and make it where it were. Too many people say well, it wasn't going to last. And yeah, we, we put a lot of stress on ourselves the way we did life and how to push through life. But we got through all that and there was ups and downs. Everybody has ups and downs. Nobody's perfect. And I don't know, I just really like to celebrate more of when we got together because that really means a lot more. So this May we'll be uh, married for five years, and this December we'll be together eight years. Yep. So that answers that question. What did you get in trouble for when you were younger? Well, the only thing I got in trouble for when I was younger as a kid is pretty much skateboarding. Because we went and skated everywhere, and you know how this world is. You can't skate anywhere except a skate park. And we did it anyway, and then we get in trouble with the cops. My mom would have to come bail me out all the time. I mean, not go to jail or nothing, but I've went down to the police station maybe twice. But they never put me behind bars or nothing because they really don't have nothing against me. I didn't do anything wrong. Maybe I trespassed it. But I was only skating. I didn't vandalize nothing. Um, that's pretty much all I got in trouble for when I was younger. I really didn't get in trouble either. I mean, I might have had a, you know, got a little attitude every now and then or something, but I really didn't get in any trouble when I was younger. Yeah. What's your dream car? Well, my dream car is a, uh, a Mitsubishi, Mir um, not about some Mirage, a Mitsubishi Evo Lancer. That's my dream car. It's just the problem is with those, they've completely changed the whole style in the car. And I kind of like the older ones to the newer, but then the new ones, new, new ones came out. They just, I don't know, they don't. There's one and I have my eyes on it, looks good. It's just, it's a lot of money. And I just don't know. Maybe being successful down the road, maybe. But that is my dream car, an Evo. So. And mine, I, I mean, I really want a Cobalt, so I'm not sure if I'll change my mind later on. Right now, I'm happy with my van, but my dream car, um, I had a Cobalt, which I would like a newer model, um, but I want a Cobalt probably. So far, I haven't changed my mind about that. Oh, and going back on the uh, job part, I do um, clean houses sometimes too to make extra money, so um, hobbies. Really don't have <laughs> any hobbies. I mean, we like taking the kids to the park. When it's hot enough, we like riding bikes. Um, I mean, if you say a hobby, likes working on his car. I guess that's a hobby. I guess working on your car. And yeah. Stuff. But I mean, other than that, I mean, hobby hobbies like doing stuff. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, we don't. We don't really do anything. Uh -huh. like. What makes us walk back and forth instead of sitting down while we're, while vlogging? That's the one you wanted to answer, baby. <laughs> the reason why we do that and hold the camera and we walk around everywhere in the house and talk, um, because I really don't, I mean, I like to sit here and we're, we're telling you a lot, the life story about how we did this and how we did that and how we met and stuff. And 
answering your questions, but it's more when I'm vlogging, it's a it's kind of a thing where I like just want to walk doing? around. Yeah. I just don't want to stand there and just hold the camera and just sit there and talk. I want to walk. Yeah, and, walk sh and, and talk. show what we're doing and stuff. Um, you know, it's it's video logging pretty much. Is that's why it's called vlogging. Yeah. Um, you just walk around and stuff. I mean, a lot of YouTubers, I admit, they call it vlogging, but I mean, they'll sit there in front of their there, computer. Yeah. They'll sit there in front of the computer and they'll, they'll vlog. I see a lot of YouTubers do that, but. I guess for the more people that have more things to do and run around, and, and that's why we move around so much. Yeah, I mean, as far as going back and forth to the room, sometimes we're showing what the kids are doing or what yeah. he's doing or what I'm doing. Um, and because I can't just sit there and talk and hold the camera. Like, it's bad enough when I'm driving and I'm having to do it. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I just, like, I can't do it. <laughs> um, have you guys been tubing, jetting, or boating? Um, when I was younger, I went uh, tubing before. As far as boats, I mean, we went on the boat to see dolphins in Florida. The kids have never been other than that on a boat. I've never been on a boat other than that and the tubing. Um, have you, baby? And I've never been jet skiing. I've been, I've been on a boat before, like a speed boat, when I was like maybe 17. Yeah. Other than that, nothing else, no. No tubing, no skiing, no jet skiing, none of that. Yeah. Um, the kids, they... We, we all went on the boat to see the dolphins yeah. in Florida, though. Um, the boys' middle names and what happened to the dog we adopted. The boys' middle names are um, Kyle's is Nicholas, Riley's is Azora, yeah. and what happened to the dog we adopted? Alright, the dog that we adopted, alright. I've sat here and I've tried to train this dog. I've tried to do everything I possibly could with this dog. Um, the dog would want to run away a lot. Meaning you let him outside and you can call his name. And we tried and like, I don't know, I guess the name just wasn't really working. Yeah, because he was already, a, you know, he wasn't a puppy, so... <sighs> Yeah, so it was really, really hard. I'd have to go out there and crank up the car and drive yeah. on the road in order for him to come. He would come when the car is cranked. Yeah. I don't know what that was, but it was like a calling to him. Yeah. And uh, and he, we couldn't get him to get potty trained because he was already older, so he went and potty trained. We thought he was. Yeah, but and he was started just, peeing around the house, like lifting yeah. his foot, I mean lifting his leg where my, my internet box was, yeah. and just peeing all in it, and I was like, what? And then he started snapping at bears. So. Yeah, and I didn't like that very so much. So we, we found him a good yeah, home. Yeah, we found him a good home where he can run. He ain't getting out of no fence in no time soon. Yeah, because we don't have a fence We don't have yard, a fence here, so. so that's what sucked about it. Yeah, we finally made the decision. I mean, we, we liked him, but it just, we, we wasn't yeah. able to train him like he needed to be trained. We didn't have the time because we had the two dogs and we yeah. had kids and we didn't have a fenced in yard. We just couldn't um, do it. So, um, do we watch NASCAR? No, not really. I stopped <laughs> watching. To be honest, I used to be a big NASCAR person. I did too when I was younger. I stopped watching it when I think it was Tom Petty. Tom Petty crashed in the helicopter, and then like Dale Earnhardt Jr. Like I started after watching that. You stopped. mean Dale Earnhardt? No, Tom Petty. You just said Dale Earnhardt Jr. No, Tom Petty crashed in a helicopter a long time, number 28 car. Oh, okay. That was my my, my favorite driver. Oh. And Dale Earnhardt was, after that, I stopped watching a little bit, and then I went back, and then Dale Earnhardt was the best person out there, and that's who I liked more than yeah, anything. Yeah, me too. I was a and then when he man. wrecked, then I was like, okay, maybe his son can, you know, do something, I'll watch him, and it just wasn't the same. It wasn't the same at all. The number got thrown off, he did his own thing, and I just thought that was, I know family feuds, they wouldn't lie to the number or some crap like that, but it still didn't matter, it just, I don't know, I lost faith in, the faith in racing at all. I, just, I was a big Dale Earnhardt fan, um, and then once he passed away, um, I was going for his son, um, and I watched it, you know, when I was younger, but then I started having to work on Sundays, and I just lost track of it, so I didn't really watch it anymore. Yeah. What happened to Jessica's channel? What happened to your channel? Um, I just haven't decided on what I wanted to do. Um, I mean, 
I've said I'm going to do this and that on it. I just, it didn't seem like it was attracting anybody on what I was doing, you know, just basically talking. Uh, so I've been, you know, brainstorming on different ideas on what I could do because I'm not really a big beauty fan as far as like a lot of girls on there. Um, I mean, I wouldn't mind doing like a makeup tutorial or something like that, but as far as like just talking all about beauty, I don't. I've never been that big of a fan of, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. I mean, I do my makeup, yes. I do it a certain way, yes. I like certain kinds of makeup, yes. But as far as going out and having 50 or having a big old case of makeup, I don't. So I'm not, you know, I couldn't do like a beauty channel. So, um, and I didn't want to just, you know, I didn't, I just didn't, there was a lot that I just didn't know what I wanted to do with it yet. I still want to do something with that channel. I just haven't decided what yet. Um, I want it to be a channel that I can, you know, do all different kinds of stuff. I just haven't decided yet. So I'll get back on it. I just don't know when. Um, do you watch any YouTubers? We already covered that. Yeah. Um, how is our marriage and do we wish we would have waited longer or what, wish we would have waited until we were older? I think our marriage is great. I mean, everybody argues, but I mean, as far as I don't regret being, nothing we yeah. do. No. Yeah, so our marriage, I mean, our marriage, of course, is not perfect. Nobody's marriage is, but the only thing I we regret, are very happy. I think anybody would really regret just wish people would have better jobs and have more money and stuff other than that and know the marriage there wasn't nothing wrong with it yeah it's, it's the outside of the marriage to make a marriage supposedly work sometimes like the money the job the you know the expenses and everything you got to pay for and yeah i mean, I mean if we argue usually it's something about that you know we don't yeah. have money for this we don't have money for that i want to do something or he wants to do something and the other disagrees or something but as far as our marriage, you know, we have a good marriage. And if we wish we would have waited till we got older, no, we had already, you know, planned on getting married that year anyway. So, I mean, we got married, I was 19, and he was 20-something. I don't know. So, that's a no. Biggest pet peeves. What's your biggest pet peeve, baby? My biggest? Oh, um, what what is it? Really? What is That's it? That's your biggest pet peeve. <laughs> what is it though? Loving me too much. <laughs> no. His biggest pet peeve would be smoking. Which I still do, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Please don't start. <laughs> um, yeah, that would be his biggest pet peeve would be smoking. Which I still have not quit yet. So, no, don't get on me, please. I know it's bad. I know I need to stop. I know my daddy died of cancer, so I know all that. I just, I haven't quit yet. So, um, my biggest pet peeve, I would think, would be. on your nerves the most? Well, I guess on my nerves the most is whenever I'm sitting there doing something or watching TV and Chris comes in there, sticks his finger in my arm or in my face or in my butt or something and is messing with me. I mean, he just comes in there and just aggravates the crap out of me. And I'll <laughs> pause it, you know, and I'm like, mm, okay, baby, what you want? You know, and he's like, oh, I just, I just want to be here, you know, what you doing? And just random stuff. Um, I guess that would be it, maybe. Um, did we graduate? I got my GED and so did Chris. Mm -hmm. So um, we didn't actually graduate from high school, but we both got our GED. What are we very proud of? The Probably the most thing that I'm proud of would be our kids. Um, that's our biggest accomplishment yes. in life. More than anything in this world, that's what I'm proud of the most, is having our babies. So, nothing um, makes me more proud or more, I mean, happy than seeing them happy and seeing them, you know, healthy and being in our life. So, 
favorite subject in school? What was your favorite subject? Mine was math. That's my favorite. Mine was science. Do you like I science? I love science. So yeah, that I was, that was I good. science. Mine was math. I loved how, like, the favorite subject, like, science and science was, like, tornadoes and how storms do this and how, that was my favorite. See, I, so yeah, I didn't that. like science. I was bad in science. Um, how old is Marley and Bear? Bear. Hmm. See, I don't know. He'll be 13 in November. 13? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Because I don't remember exactly when I got him. Like, he really wasn't supposed to be my dog. My dog We got his Tyler. paper. We seen his paper. He'll be 13 in November. Remember his birthday since November. Okay. All right. And, and Marley will be two, I think. He was born in December. Yeah. Because we got him, like, maybe January or February. Yeah. So, he'll be two this we year. We wait a couple months or something. And mine, and, and as far as our birthdays, mine's in September. Mine's in April. And Riley's is in July, and Kyle's is in October. October. Our favorite cartoon to watch with the boys. We don't watch cartoons. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. I think his favorite would be Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles, Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles. Turtle in a half shell. <laughs> Turtle power. I think that would be his. I mean, he'll be in there singing it whenever he's watching. He thinks I don't hear it, but I do. And mine, I like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And then I grew up SpongeBob. watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I get into the SpongeBob, but I get tired of watching it because we watch it all the time. So, watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are the old Power Rangers, not the new ones they make, but the old yeah, ones. The old ones I good. like those. If we had a girl, what would we name her? I don't know. I have no idea. I really don't. Um, well, we thought of a few names when I was pregnant with Kyle, but... I forgot what it was. Yeah. I mean, we didn't ever really commit to any of them because we had a few for Kyle too so I thought we were gonna I mean we hadn't thought about it in years so if we had to um what would we name her that is started with a K that we wanted to do it we did it was something with a K but then I said no because all of my cousins and stuff they're all their kids is Kaylee Kylie Keely or, or something yeah. <laughs> There's a Kylie, Kyrie, Kyrie, Kaylee. Yeah. I mean, just, and I'm like, no. I'm not going to do I don't know. I can't no. really sit here and say exactly what we would call the girl. Yeah, really we don't could. know. We'd have to really think about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, because it took us up until Ky the day Kyle was born to pick Kyle. Yeah. We did not know what we were We, we had all kinds of names. We, seen him. we had the names that we had picked, we had narrowed it down to like four. We said once we seen him, we would know. And that's yeah. what we decided. So, we're not sure. Um, do we do any crafting? No. No, not at all. No, no, no. Um, who would we like to meet someday? I like to meet the Shaytards. I like to meet Jenna, Jenna Marbles. Um, and Shane Dawson and Osomniar. Whatever his name is. I like to meet all the you know the bigger YouTubers. Um, I mean, I like to meet the YouTubers also. Yeah. Um, like but I'm did. not. That, that's one thing. But I mean, we wouldn't be like obsessive. We don't like. Yeah. Oh my God, no. I mean, we would just like to meet them, say hey, you know, stuff like that, introduce ourselves. Yeah. Um, and not be like some YouTubers and take the fame and glory to their yeah. head and just throw shaytards on their vlog and be like, yeah. I met the shaytards and. Hopefully they'll help me get more subscribers yeah. and get more famous out there. That's not the way We would just like to meet them just to meet them. I mean, no. um, famous people, I think my... I think me and Shay would get along just fine. Yeah, I'm sure you would. Because I've seen his little documentary thing on his little thing of their pet peeves and all that. And everything he said was pretty much the same as me. So. <laughs> um, as far as famous people, um, my favorite actress I would like to meet... It'd probably be Jennifer Jennifer Love Hewitt because I've I've liked every single movie she's ever been in. I know what she did last summer, all of that. Um, I wouldn't want to meet anybody else. I would. I want to. I would, would want to meet her. Um, or Trish Stratus. She was my favorite wrestler. So, 
And our, this is our last and final question, guys. Channel's future. Channel's future. It all depends on you guys. Yes. Um, no, that's kind of true. That, baby. That's kind of true. It really depends on how to say this. All right, I know everybody said, I know we've said that we were going to be vlogging every day, and we, we've kept up with that promise. Um, and I told everybody about this video was going to last a week because I want everybody to really know who we are and stuff like that, and then we're going to go right back to vlogging every day again. Um, yeah. But I made a decision that the day of when, that, when we first started vlogging every day, I'm going to go for a whole year. And we've been on YouTube for almost, I believe, go what? for three years. This, year, this December, I think, th or this November will be three years. I got right here. When we first joined, it was November 23rd, 2010. And we started posting up vlogs so every two times a week. this November will be three years. It'll be three years of November. And we'll be doing almost a year from the vlog, vlogging every day. It's at Wednesdays and Sunday. We're going to go all the way to vlogging to that day when we said it. And hopefully we've made a difference. Because if not, we're not saying we're going to quit. Yeah, we just would not. We were, we're, we're not, not going to vlog every day. every day. Because it, 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 it how do I say it? It's, it's not. Vlogging every day does, does take a lot out of, you know, you know it's my about, family time and stuff. Meaning like when we're recording and we last almost a whole day recording, then we turn around and I have to go in there and edit and sit there and wait for the process and stuff like that. I wish it's a lot easier, but it's really not. And from that whole time, for about an hour, an hour and a half doing all that and then uploading it to YouTube and make sure everything goes right, because sometimes YouTube rejects it and you gotta go back in there and upload it again. That takes time out. And if there ain't really a big change and we haven't really skyrocketed more subscribers and more views and stuff, then we're just going to go back to what we were doing like when we were still doing good. Yeah, we were just doing it, you know, a few times a week. You know, a lot of people say vlog every day. So we're, we're going we're gonna to push gonna it for a year. We're going to see. And we're going to see what happens from there. So that's the future of this channel. Just all you know, it's, it's, you know... It's just not us. It takes two. It takes us to do what we need to do, and it takes the people out there to, you know, tell us what else we need to do, or oh, they they like this video, or comment on this video, and also send our name out there and subscribe to our channel, and you know, it takes two on that part, you know, and also there is something I do want to do. Don't know exactly when I want to do it. I do want to get a P.O. box for all the fans that do watch us to send stuff. If they want to send little bitty cards, they can make. Or now we're not asking to be sending money. We're not asking for yeah. toys. But I mean, whatever you want to yeah, send, we, that that's on y'all. We we're have, not asking for nothing big. Yeah. We're not asking for anything like that. We've had a lot of people ask yeah. if we could just get one. That way they can send like you know pictures like. A lot of kids want to send pictures to the kids and, and know, we're thinking about doing a mail vlog and stuff. yeah meaning like um if y'all send your stuff in and we'll collect out of a month everything and then we'll set the camera up and we'll do like something like this and do a huge mail vlog yeah you know and open everybody's stuff up read their names and give a shout outs for the people who wrote us and stuff like that and i think it'd be really good yeah. And I would take a vlog out of there because it'd be a male vlog. Yeah. So, but I mean that's pretty much it. We answered everything that y'all pretty much said. I'm yeah. sorry if someone gets it late, but I mean we pretty much hopefully covered everything for everybody. Yeah. Um. That's it, right? Anything else? No. I think that's about it. We covered all the questions and everything, you know. We added in a few other things that we thought yeah. maybe y'all would want to know. Um, I mean, we want y'all to continue watching us. Um, if this is your first time seeing it, you know, come check us out, watch some videos. Um, you know. Well, that's about it, guys. We're going to go ahead and cut it off. And uh, after this, we're going to go show some pictures. So I'm going to take a flashback and let everybody see some old pictures. Yeah, and that's before we... Yeah, before we even started vlogging or anything like that, we're going to show some pictures and end it with that. And 
check in the description for the Facebooks, our Facebooks, my Instagram, the Twitter if you got one, and the date will be in there, exactly how long this video will be airing on YouTube, and the date will tell you exactly when we'll come back and start the uh, vlogging every day again. So we will see you guys when we see you on the next vlog. Bye-bye. Thank y'all. Bye-bye. <laughs> Alright, thank y'all. And just stick around for pictures and come back and watch us for our videos. <laughs> when we come back. Camera's off. Camera's off. <laughs> no, I'm saying bye. Bye, guys. We love you.